Aloha. Wonderful seeing you today. Tell you what, we're just going to take you through a quick recap of our chords. These all can be found on our website. There are little books that we have um, that show them at the top as we were doing. And today's song, I'm just going to teach you from one of those books, but it's called uh, 365 Daily Songs. And the song we're doing, You Are My Sunshine, super fun, super simple, just all downstrokes. However, the notes and chords in these are going to be the ones we've been working on. C major. D minor looks like an F major, but it has our third finger down here, which means when we're playing this, we're going to rake this all the way down past our G, C, and E, leaving it on our E string to play an F note, E, F. It's one of our first naturally occurring half steps, the other being B to C. So when we have a G, C, E, and A, when I talk about how to find a note or a chord, I'm talking about frets and then fingers. So if I were to say first finger, first fret, and then go to the E string, we would go to the one, two, three string. Our four string is up here, G, C, E, A. A is our first string as it's first away from us. Four is our closest one. There are some people that say it the other way, one, two, three, four. Either way, whatever we define as our number of strings, that's where we're gonna be placing our fingers. But when you play an F, it's pretty well explanatory after you get the F major that almost all other notes will come from here because that F note is our pivot chord for a lot of other chords. C major. We're gonna play a D minor, which is our F major, our A, and then we're gonna be putting down the D finger. What I was trying to show is if we do our teeter-totter mechanism, which means we change our fingers back and forth, back and forth, until we can get the same chord out of different fingers, this allows us to scoot up that shape and then play down a bar chord or just the individual note if that's all it really takes. Some of them do different things. Our other way that we know how to play an E would be like here, E minor that is, but I prefer playing the bar chord because what the bar chord does, it allows us to play a chord without having an open note being legato. That note will always ring, even if you take your fingers off of. When you cover these all the way, that's when you get true staccato, just a shortening quick. After our C major, D minor, E minor, and our F major, which we pretty much know our F major at this point, the next note is gonna be our G for our G major. G major has a finger on the G, on the B up top, and then the D. Our A minor is one of our one note chords like this, wonderful. And then our last one uses the F note and the D and the B to play a B diminished. Now the B diminished is also a G7, G dominant seven, because a G, when we move the G note down, we don't squish them all together, but we could. It just feels a lot better to play it like this, a G major seven. And then moving that down again, we get a G dominant seven. G major, G major seven, G dominant seven. So the chords we learn in the key of C are these, C for C major, D for D minor, E for E minor, F for F major, the G for G major, open A for A minor, B for B diminished, and then C. The scales that are derived from this that we talk about will be a whole step from C to D, a whole step from D to E, a half step from E to F, a whole step from F to G, whole step from G to A, whole step from A to B, and our resolution a half step from B to C, thusly bringing us to the octave. 13 notes away, or 12 real notes, because one and one and 13 are the same. One octave. Or diatonically speaking, seven notes. That's going vertical. If we go horizontally, we would have an open C. Second finger, second fret on the third string, the thickest string, the C string. Next, we're gonna play the open E string. Half step to the F on the same string. We're gonna play a whole step to the G, skipping a finger, skipping a fret. 
The next is gonna be an open string right above it. Whole step to the B. And then our other half step. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. This is a major scale and it correlates with all the chords that we've learned thus far. And I know I make it look easy. Don't worry about it. You're going to be playing up to this speed in no time. The idea is to not get frustrated in the beginning with all the information and have fun. <laughs> I'm going to send along uh, our song, uh, You Are My Sunshine. Remember when we do this, when we see uh, notes that are whole notes, we play them as two, three, four half notes. We one, two, three, four quarter notes, all down strokes. And then eighth notes, down, up, down, up, down, 